und Weib, und Weib und Mann. Reichen, der Gott heilt an. Mann und Weib, und Weib und Mann. to Garsington Opera's Monday Motivation. That was a scene from The Magic Flute, our, one of our productions. And this morning we are uh, thinking princesses, princes, magic, mystery, bird catchers and the queen of the night. So we've got an exciting morning ahead. We've got Hannah Conway composer with us, Natasha Kanjani choreographer, and an extra of stage manager, Paul Griss. Lots of you have requested to know more about stage management. So we're going to explore that with this wonderful production this morning. But first, let's meet Naz. Uh, Naz, you are uh, in Ryslip. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely. And um, you, uh, during lockdown, you've actually been still working because you, you run Songhaven, don't you? Yeah, I run a branch of it called Care Concerts and we take um, live concerts into care homes, but we can't do that at the moment. Oh, and um, I think we've got a shot of you with a couple of your participants having a, a cup of tea. Oh, oh look, that, that looks really lovely. So just tell us a little bit about what you've been doing to still keep a relationship going with some of these, um, these participants in care homes. We're working really hard to get our live footage taken from the main concert series, made as a free resource online. So you can watch our concerts online for free, all care homes and anyone that'd like to watch them. Oh, that is so lovely. And I see you've still, you've got a cup of tea in your hand there with a Garsington yeah. Opera mug. Love that, fantastic. So we're really looking forward to hearing you sing later, Naz. So we'll be back to you soon. And in the meantime, I really want you to think about this story which takes place in a mythical land between the sun and the moon. And we're really gonna get into that uh, mood. We've got lots of people saying hello to us already. We've got hello from Elizabeth. Um, we've got somebody um, saying hello, uh, Daniela in Italy. Good morning to you. And we're gonna go over to Natasha now, who's gonna get us into this magical mood and introduce us to some of the themes and characters in the piece. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, Karen, and good morning, everybody. So this morning, we've got so much that we're packing in that we are gonna do a quick warm up and do look at some bird actions that go with the opera today. So find your space, get people around you involved, and let's just take a nice, big, deep breath in. So breathe in with me. Try and touch your ceiling and breathe out and try and touch your walls. We'll do that one more time. Nice deep breath in and then breathe out. Good. Give me some shoulder rolls and then quickly give me some hip rolls. Okay, so we're going to do some bird actions today. So I want you to take one arm up and then take it down. Take the other arm up and then take it down. Take both arms up, really stretch. Do that again, both arms up, really stretch. Then I want you to fly towards the camera, right up to the camera in your house, and then flutter away, flutter away. Do that one more time, you're gonna fly in, fly in, fly in. And this time you're gonna glide away. So gliding and gliding. And then, just for the fun of it, go for a fly around your room. So I'm gonna go up onto my furniture, even though I shouldn't because I've got my shoes on, but nobody's watching, so who cares? And then let's just take another breath in. Here we go, breathe in again. And this time you're gonna go into a bird stance. You're gonna take your arms back behind you like these strong like wings. You're gonna imagine you're perched in a tree. You're gonna look sharply to one way, look sharply the other way. And then on your tiptoes, if you can, you're gonna flutter all the way around and freeze. Then take that nice deep breath in again, stretching, getting everything woken up into a bird stance the other way. So check your wings out, they're really back. Give me a sharp movement. There might be someone after you. 
Who knows, we could be hearing some lovely music and being mesmerized. Go for a turn on your toes. Go for a spin, 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 spin. And then we're gonna to fly towards the camera slowly this time, really elegantly through your arms, really flying, and then glide again, gliding, tipping, and tipping, and tipping. And then you're gonna just jog on the spot. Jogging, 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 jogging. And I'm gonna pass you back to Karen because we are action packed today. Karen, back to you. Great, so are you all still flying? I hope so, get those arms going. Everyone can do this, you can all get up and be birds flying around your room. So I want you to imagine thinking of a bird sitting on a very, very high up branch up there. And um, there is a deadly serpent, a snake, that is weaving its way through the forest. Just do that with your arm as you're weaving your way through the forest. And there's a prince called Tomino who is out hunting and he gets attacked by this deadly serpent. Now look around, what can we use? This is a perfect moment to introduce you to our stage manager this morning, Paul Griss, who's joining us from Newbury. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Karen. So it's really great to see you. It's now, lovely. is the magic flute, um, is this opera a good piece for a stage manager? Oh, magic flute is a fantastic opera for stage managers. Um, it's full of magical effects. So it's a stage manager's dream to work on this opera. Fantastic. And I've got the issue that the very first scene of the opera is a prince, Tomino, being attacked by a deadly serpent. And um, I don't have the props for it. So what would you do? We're in rehearsals, Paul. That's no problem at all. Um, in rehearsals, part of my job um, is to be in charge of the setting, the use and the movement of props. And one of the things that comes into that is to provide rehearsal props. So even if the, the actual props aren't available, we provide you something you can use instead. So you need a serpent. So I've got you a stand in. It may look like a hoover tube, but it's actually a rehearsal serpent. Do you want to take this? Oh yes, please. Hang on. Get it from you. Oh, thank you so much, Paul. Look at this, a serpent. It's wrapping itself around my neck. Oh, got a bit of a phobia of snakes. This is, this is too real, too real. Thank you, Paul. And you'll also <laughs> need these as well. Pipes for Papageno, you'll need those for later. Oh, okay. thank you. So I'll take those from you, lovely. Fantastic, so these pipes, are how Papageno, so that's a new character, he's a bird catcher. So let's get those bird wings back that Natasha introduced us to. And he uses these pipes to call the birds before he catches them. And they sound like this. Did that work? <laughs> And Paul, would you actually, um, this is pens, I don't know if you can all see, would you actually honestly use something like this? Yeah, in sometimes, sometimes in rehearsals, um, if the real prop is still being made in the workshops, then it's important that the singers have something that's the, the right sort of size and look and feel um, for the, uh, to, as a replacement to work with. So it doesn't matter what it's made of in rehearsals, as long as it gives them something to use in place of the actual prop. Fantastic. So you can all get making your own rehearsal props at home. Thank you so much. Paul will be joining you again in a little while. And we've got Hannah here because I mentioned a minute ago that we are in a forest and Tamino the prince is being attacked by a deadly serpent here this morning. So Hannah, uh, what is, what's, what's he singing at this moment? Hey, have we got our voices with us this morning? It goes like this. I'm going to teach it to you. Just listen. Oh, help me, oh, help me, the monster comes closer. Oh, help me, oh, help me, the monster comes closer. Okay, your turn to learn it. So I'm going to teach it to you. It goes like this. I'll do it first and then you, uh, then you can do it after me. So it goes. Oh, help me, oh, help me, the monster comes closer. Oh, help me, oh, help me, the monster comes closer. Tasha's helping with the actions as well. Okay, you're going to do it with me. I'll play the piano. Tasha's doing the actions for you. Let's do it together. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, help me, oh, help me, the monster comes closer. Oh, help me, oh, help me, the monster comes closer. Lovely. Then it goes like this. Oh, and this is where you need your stage prop 
it goes like this. It circles around me, it's going to kill me. Should we try that together? I'll put my hoover down. Oh, sorry, not, not hoover, serpent. And you can uh, keep yours in your hands. Right, so it circles around me, it's going to kill me. Here we go, five, six, seven, and it circles around me, it's going to kill me. The last little bit goes like this. Oh, gods, gods, please save me. Try that. Oh, gods, gods, please save me. So the whole little last bit goes, it circles around me, it's going to kill me. Oh, gods, gods, please save me. Should we try that? Here we go. It's a, uh, you ready? One, two, three. It circles around me, it's going to kill me. Oh, gods, gods, please save me. All right, I think we've got it. Are you ready? Let's go from the start. Oh, help me. One, two, three. Oh, help me. Oh, help me. Monster comes closer. Oh, help me. Oh, help me. The monster comes closer. It circles around me. It's going to kill me. Oh, God, God, please save me. Wow, you did so well. Give yourselves a round of applause. Oh, Tash, Tash. Oh, no. Okay, um, thank you for that, Hannah. So the serpent has attacked Tamino and Tamino is on the floor, believed dead there um, by the serpent. But then, oh, oh, and Tamino is waking up. I think Tamino's waking up. Yes, fantastic. And in front of Tamino, he sees, so the serpent is, oh, wow, he's, a, he's alive. Oh, good, thank goodness. He sees Papageno. Do you remember Papageno? with the uh, pipes to call the birds. And Papageno is standing there and Tamino says, thank you so much, you saved my life. Now Papageno had just happened to arrive and uh, he looks at this prince and thinks, uh, oh yeah, yeah I did. Now would you take the credit? That's what I want to know. We did this, we are doing this a little bit at the moment. So stand close to the screen if you would take the credit and stand right back if you think that is wrong and you should admit, actually, it wasn't me. What would you do if you're the bird catcher in this forest? Everyone show me, let me know. And just while you're letting me know, do type in and tell me. Um, we've got, who have we got here? We've got Ellen and Fiona, Fiona who um, they've grabbed their phone charger cables as the serpent. So that's great. Lovely, lovely rehearsal prop improvisation there. Anyway, so Papageno takes the credit and unfortunately he did not rescue Prince Tamino. The three ladies that work for the Queen of the Night did and they are understandably pretty cross at Papageno and they say, Oi, you did not rescue him, we did. And as punishment, we're gonna cast a spell on you. We're gonna lock your mouth over to Hannah for this locking mouth moment. So I'm gonna teach you what, um, what then Papageno sings, but he has his mouth locked as he sings it. So he actually is trying to say this. I cannot say a word, cannot say a word, cannot say a word, mouth is locked. Just practice that with me. Cannot say a word, cannot say a word, cannot say a word, mouth is locked. Lovely, now, what you have to do is totally cover your teeth with your, with your lips, and it goes like this. I cannot say a word, cannot say a word, cannot say a word, mouth is locked. Have we got it? Shall we try it together? Here we go. One, two, three. I cannot say a word, cannot say a word, cannot say a word, mouth is locked. Lovely. That was, that was a warm up. Now you're going to do it totally with your mouth closed. You're going to go like this. And Tasha's showing you what she'd be doing for the gestures. Here we go. One, two, three. Well done. Mouth locked for the rest of the day. Fantastic. So your mouth's locked. If you could cast any spell, what type of spell would you cast? Have a bit of a think about that for me. Send me any comments you want. Really interested to know. So Prince Tamino is still in the forest here and he is shown a picture 
of Pamina. Now, this is a picture of Louise Alder, who plays Pamina. You might have seen her in that little introduction we did for this morning's live session. There she is in Garsington's production. And Prince Tamino looks at her and understandably just falls completely in love with her. He says, oh my goodness, she is amazing. And do you think that it is actually possible to fall in love with a picture of somebody that you've never met? I'm really interested. So uh, do I think it's possible? Hands up if you definitely think it's possible. And hands down if you think, no way, that cannot happen. So I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for this, right? We've got Naz on screen as well. So maybe Naz, you could uh, do the same thing. Is it possible to fall in love with somebody just seeing a photograph of them? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it, I'm gonna say yes. Naz is absolutely saying no. And Naz, this is the moment we are going to meet the queen of the night. And this is Pamina's mum. Hi Naz. How Hello. is the Queen of the Night feeling at this moment? She's found somebody, a lovely prince, who's fallen in love with her daughter. So what's going on for her right now? Well, she is very distraught. Her daughter's been kidnapped by Zarastro and um, she instructs Tamino to go and save her. Oh, and this is Naz um, singing at this moment in Garsington's Opera First performance. Wow, it's lovely to see you in action there, Naz. <laughs> Wonderful. Can you sing us that moment? Yeah. Beautiful Naz. So a wicked man has stolen her daughter away. So you can understand why she's feeling really anxious and worried and pretty angry about that. Thank you for that Naz. And um, I asked you a minute ago if you could cast a spell, what spell it would be. And Archie says that he'd cast a spell for infinite food. Lovely Archie, very, very nice. And she gives uh, Tamino in order to rescue her daughter, she gives him a magic flute. Now he is going to head off into the forest on a very dangerous quest. So he needs this magic flute in order to help him on his way. And we're gonna sing about that, Hannah. We are, absolutely. So it goes like this. Again, I'll show you first a little bit of it and then, uh, then I'll teach it to you. So it goes like this. Magic flute, flute of magic. So you can watch the actions as well as we're doing it. So. Magic flute, flute of magic. Actually, do you know what? Those are the notes. Magic flute. Have you got it? Flute of magic. Lovely. With the piano. Here we go. One, two, three, and. Magic flute, flute of magic. Then we sing. Sound your chimes in times of so you're all going to be singing this. Sound your chimes in times of peril. Peril, times of trouble. Here we go. Let's let's do that bit um, together. Sound your chimes. Here we go. And a three, four. Sound your chimes in times of peril. Lovely. Then it sounds like this. Magic flute. Protect us well. Try that with me. Two, three, four. Magic flute. Protect us well. Lovely. And you're doing the actions. Magic flute. Oh, no. Magic flute. Protect us well. You're doing that with Tash. And then it goes like this. Play your song and cast a spell. Try it. 
a beautiful beautiful song to sing I hope you've all enjoyed singing that from wherever you are and just before we join our stage manager again I'm just going to read out a couple of these spells people say they would cast so Sienna would magic up rainbows um, that would that could appear every day that's beautiful Sienna and Daniela would cast a spell so that we all respect and love our planet um, and that the spell should last forever. Such gorgeous spells. Thank you, guys. It's really lovely. And Paul, back to you, because I want to know, along with lots of other people, what the most exciting part of your job is. The most exciting part of the job is definitely calling the show. So when you go and watch an opera, every single thing that happens, from the conductor starting the orchestra to a singer entering or a change in the lights or in the scenery, happens because the stage manager wearing something like this tells it to happen so they call the show wow so how when you're in the middle of you know everyone singing like we heard naz sing earlier on like how do you actually do that can you show us yeah so we have a copy of the score a bit like this um and all of the the things are marked into it that tells us what to do so we have all our cues marked in all the different things that happen okay and what's uh, i'm noticing that this page that you've pulled up is a super dramatic moment in the piece it is. isn't it it is yes brilliant so tell us about it yeah so is this it when, um so is it when the queen of the night asks her daughter to kill her captor sarastro it is indeed yes it's the queen of the night's second aria um and as you okay. can there's we there's um yeah it's that moment Great, and so there, there's lots of stuff going on in that moment, is there, cue-wise? Lots and lots of things happening, um, but what we need to concentrate on is just that middle column there where you can see lots of things that say go, um, and those are all of the cues. Um, and so, yeah, the start of the opera, there's four cues that happen. Fantastic. So um, one of the cues I'm noticing is video, yeah. and this week's design challenge with Rhiannon Newman-Brown was to make a shadow puppet theatre. And um, I wondered whether we could use one of those videos. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of the results of that design challenge, Paul, because I don't know if you could incorporate it into what you're doing. So this is Kevin uh, Delary, and he's, um, have I got that right? No, that's not, is it? That one is Dave Watts, I believe. That's Dave Watts animation there. That's beautiful. We'll watch that again. Look at this. That, oh, look, he's, uh, the flute has hopefully saved him there. That's a lovely interpretation, Dave. And this one is Kevin Delary's, and Kevin is from Streetwise Opera, who join us uh, for this project. And you can also go over to their site and watch their workshops every day at noon if you want to do a little bit more on Magic Flute this week. So thanks for that. So Paul, is there any way that we could use one of those videos, um, possibly the one that Rhiannon made in our design challenge, which you can all check out Definitely. still um, as a backing drop? I think that'd be a really good idea, yeah. So if, should, we, should we run this bit? Should we run this bit of music, do you think? Yeah? Now that we've yeah, got let's, um, can we practice the cues before we then run, just yeah. so we know what they are? Yep, yeah, certainly. So there's four cues that we need to do. There's the video cue, there's yeah. the music, 
as the Queen of the Night, but there's one other cue that I think we'll need your help with, Karen. Do you think you could help us out with Thunder? Yes, yeah. I think we could probably all do that. So um, let's find, I'm just taking this rehearsal prop idea into my head. So everyone look around you. How can you make Thunder in your room? So um, I'm gonna use my water bottle. So I'm gonna hit my water bottle. You can uh, make Thunder in any way that you think you can in your room. So we're ready, let's have a practice. Great, got it? Great. Brilliant, okay. So, stand by please video, stand by please thunder, stand by music and stand by queen. Video go, thunder and music go, queen go. was uh, Nazan Fikrat singing the Queen of the Night. Utterly, utterly stunning uh, Naz this morning. And it's easy for us to forget that you're actually singing that from your kitchen when you've yeah. got that beautiful backdrop there. You look, it looks very theatrical, but <laughs> please tell us how with your cup of tea at this time of the morning, you reach those high notes. Well, Karen, I'm gonna have to say there's quite a lot of praying involved. <laughs> but aside from that, of course, there's things that you can do technically as a singer to really help yourself. Uh, can you can you help us though? Can, is there anything we can do to maybe have a bit of a dream of reaching at least one of those notes? Absolutely. So you can start to build your stamina as a singer and build your high notes. So put your hands on your hips for me and do a <laughs> like you're telling someone to shush. Very good. Now I want you to imagine you're letting the air of a balloon out very, very slowly and you're going to hear the squeaky noise. So... Okay, I'm going to try this. <coughs> oh, and I coughed. <laughs> Lovely. How was that? So now I can sing, I can sing those high notes, can I, Naz? in probably about 15 years, so keep going. I, I will keep going and I won't, uh, I won't try that all for you now, but let's uh, move on. We're getting loads of comments this morning, lots of praise for Naz there. Um, absolutely amazing at this time of the morning, Naz. And uh, Oliver gives you a huge round of applause so you can feel super pleased about that. Um, and we've got Paul Grist back for our last section of stage management this morning, Paul. Um, and I'm interested to know, because it sounds like such a cool job being a stage manager and some of us might want to do that if we're not um, gonna sing some of those high notes. So what kind of a person, what kind of temperament do you need to have to be a stage manager? I think the two most important things are that you need to be well organized and that you need to be able to stay calm. So if you think about an opera production as being like a big spider's web, um, then the stage management team sort of sit in the middle of that, keeping everything running and keeping everything happy, everyone happy. 
Fantastic. And if you want to find out more about being a stage manager, then I suggest you check out the Royal Opera House's Opera Machine uh, video, which really shows you it's so fantastic. And also English National Opera have also done a super film to show you that. And we have absolutely loved having you with us this morning to explore Mozart's The Magic Flute. Uh, it's been a great morning. We've been joined by our partners, Opera Vision, which is a great place to watch online full-length operas and if you want to check out some highlights of Garsington's Magic Flute production then go to Garsington Opera's YouTube channel. It's been great to have you all with us this morning and from the team bye and have a great Monday. Bye!